All right, this video is going to be about motivation and if you have lost motivation, how you can get it back. I generally don't speak on, um, uh, you know, topics related to being motivated. And the reason I don't do that is because I simply believe either you have it or you don't. And if you're seeking motivation from external sources, uh, like, you know, someone should give you the rah-rah, the, the thing, then it's not inbuilt. Now, I'm not talking of, uh, there's a difference between, let's say, you want to go to the gym and you listen to hardcore music and that gets you into the mood. I'm not talking of that kind of motivation. Or uh, let's say, for example, um, you know, you want to study hard and, you know, you surround yourself with people who are better than you in grades and you be with them. I'm talking about where you don't have you want to do something, you have to do something, but you don't have to drive. Let's say, for example, uh, smoking, drinking, uh, getting out of the addiction of porn, or uh, uh, let's say taking your life seriously, wanting to lose weight, get in shape, or your career path, or reading a book, or studying, okay? So I've written down 13 points. Um, I just hope that this inspires you uh, to get back into... Uh, doing whatever you have to do okay so having said that these are the 13 points uh, take them down note them down because it would help you in referencing it later on the first one in terms of motivation is you need to be very clear with the why okay i've said this before in my videos if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing it will not make sense like right now today is the third day i'm not eating food three days you're talking of a guy who, for whom food was life. I was living to eat. I was, you know, not eating to live. I was living to eat. Every two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, I would put something in my mouth. I had to eat sugar, sweet, chips, chocolates, ice creams. For me to go from there to being a guy who is practicing intermittent fasting and now who is really like, this is going to be my one, two, three, fourth um long fast i did 24 hours i did i think three days of you know five days then i did 11 days and now i'm doing i'm attempting 15 days i don't know how to do this i don't have any health issues i don't have any problems i don't have weight issues but i know why i'm doing this and in case you want to know why it is mainly for me to discipline myself uh, i it's i know it sounds silly but I want to discipline myself. I want to control myself. I, I want to know, do I have that character? Do I have those values? And uh, yes, to break a new record, I would have a greater degree of self-respect on at my, you know, towards myself. Now, I'm, I know that there will be some people who might admire this, who follow me, but most of them don't care because there are people who have even gone without food for one month or six months or even there's a world record for two years so i'm not doing it for them i'm doing it internally for me the only thing which i do is i share the videos of daily progress so that keeps me you know inspired and motivated so it's not the key is i know why i'm not doing it for approval I'm not doing it for praise i'm not doing it for attention i'm doing it for the deep rooted why so if you have this deep rooted why you can accomplish anything and remember this even though i had the deep rooted why i failed plenty of times the number of times i failed it was unbelievable uh, it was crazy and uh, that brings me to the second point you will fail okay i failed okay and um, even though i failed i i didn't give up man i i said okay i failed today i tried two hours and, and this is after doing 11 days after doing 11 days when i tried to do again a four day fast um, I failed. Okay, um, by the way, it's, then it's my fourth attempt at a long-term fast. I did uh, four days, I failed. After that, without mentioning to anyone, I tried uh, six hours, 12 hours. I would do it sometimes, hit or miss. So I failed, So, but I didn't give up. So that should be the next point, you know. Uh, even if you fail, so what? We are meant to fail. We are not meant to succeed every time. So keep the second point in mind. You will fail. It is a known fact, but even if you fail, it's not the end of the world. Number three is 
you should know what is the end goal what is the end result you should have a destination you should have a final goal like okay my end goal is six back abs uh, or i want to be at 57 kilos body weight or i want to be i want to lift 100 kilos for 12 reps with no problems so you should have an end goal in mind and you move towards it uh, otherwise you if you're just doing it for the hell of doing it you wouldn't know how much effort you're putting but yeah if you're doing it as a hobby and fun like painting or just going to the gym just to enjoy fine that's also fine but where motivation is involved for doing something that pushes you out of your comfort zone and that's painful you need to know the end result point number four is you need you know this is a reflective question okay if you achieved it what would happen what are the benefits how does it change your life what uh, additional you know plus points does it bring uh, how does it make you happier you need to write down these points if i achieve this all these things would come into play whether it's small or big mention it because then it will you know it's if it is in writing you can see it every time so ask yourself if i achieve it then how does it change my life how does it impact okay if i lose weight if i get in shape better uh, members you know members of the opposite sex would find me attractive people would respect me more i would look smarter uh, people would judge me differently uh my overall personal brand would increase uh, my health would improve so you know write down all the points okay point number 5 point uh, point number sorry point number 4 point number 5 is if you didn't achieve it you need to be clear how would it pain you what are the pain points let's say same thing about uh, not losing weight you would be fat people would judge you you would lose self respect uh, you would not respect yourself Uh, you wouldn't get the beautiful girl of your dreams or you know attractive females or guys would not find you attractive and um, you would maybe not amount to anything or maybe this uh, pattern would continue like for example when i was not able to maintain the uh, 15 day fast i really looked down on myself i really felt bad so you know if you don't achieve it what are the bad things and remember it can carry forward to your health your career your finance your overall quality of life number 6 is you need to be explicit with the benefits that you're getting okay uh, and this for this you'll have to check maybe a professional like health okay you're talking the point number 4 was what are the benefits you'll get is look good members of the opposite sex fine but here number 6 is the measurable benefits in my case it was I had cancer detection of cancer it went away i had uh, joint pain went away i had cholesterol it went away i had diabetes went away uh, i had uh, you know my health was, even breathing was difficult joints is to ache i couldn't walk up stairs so all this went away and i took a medical test before and after and i was able to compare so that really kept me on track towards my goal so i have the measurable ones uh, in terms of maybe if you're talking of work if you're talking in the, you're not motivated to work, working hard get to know what are the sales figures if you achieve how does it benefit you in terms of commission uh, promotion write it down and speak to maybe a decision maker and figure out if i achieve 6 months a target what will i get so when you discuss these you have a measurable tangent by which you can evaluate yourself number 7 is the flip the switch okay if you don't achieve what how will you pay the price for me i told you i had cancer tumor blood pressure diabetes uh, joint pain uh, i was overweight you know the it was really shit man and uh, let's say if you're lazy about your career you'll see your friends earn more money you'll see your colleagues get promotion you'll be in the same place if you don't improve yourself maybe you'll never get a worthwhile relationship so jot it down okay the losses number 8 is find out someone who has achieved what you want to achieve and take their guidance their mentorship and uh, you know their feedback it really helps because let's say for example me i wanted to be a good uh, marathon runner half marathon 
uh, I wanted to be a good swimmer, triathlon, uh, triathlete, and also a cyclist. So I tried doing this by myself, watching YouTube videos, just taking random advice, reading articles. Nothing helped. I thought I was improving. It didn't. I even tried steroids. It didn't work. Ma made it back to worse. Finally, when I took an Olympic coach, even though his personality was different to mine, but his advice, oh my goodness, world class. And in six months, I achieved what I could not achieve my whole life. What I struggled for six years, studying, learning, YouTube articles, I eclipsed that in just six months. And I was the fastest, the healthiest, the strongest in just six months for the rest of, you know, the whole period of my life. So imagine that. I wasted so many years of my life not taking a professional coach. So someone who has achieved it, if he can guide you, mentor you, and he will truly help you achieve your uh, goal. And that is a solid point for motivation. Number nine is um, do this after getting the coach. That is check YouTube videos to inspire you, check uh, content to read, check books. Like me, when I'm doing my no food fast, I watch videos of people who like Dr. Eckberg, Dr. Um, I, I can't get his name. Um, I have I have these two or three channels that I follow, um, which I put in my previous videos. Let's see if I can get the name. Give me one second. Just checking my Google weight loss. These are four channels. Weight loss. Weight loss doctor. Let me see if I can get... Ah, weight loss, no, doctor, wait, let me see, easy, 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 Eckberg, doctor, wait, let me see, doctor, I'm, I'm just trying to get, if I get it, okay, fine, doctor, uh, I'm getting two or three, ah, yes, here it is, okay, uh, doctor Sten Eckberg, S-T-E-N-E-K-B-E-R-G, Dr. Eric Berg, E-R-I-C-K-B-E-R-G. Then Dr. Pradeep Jamnadas, P-R-A-D-I-P-J-A-M-N-A-D-S. And Dr. Jason Fung, J-A-S-O-N-F-U-N-G. These I follow for intermittent fasting and for weight loss protocol and for fasting, uh, long durations. So I'm not looking at them only for motivation. I'm looking at them for the right knowledge, the right guidance and... Um, I've absorbed so many videos of them. It's literally like I've seen all of them. So this helps me. So check worthwhile online content to inspire you, educate you, and make you better. Remember, educating your mind is the key. Number 10 is you have to measure your progress. I have an Excel sheet where every day I have the date. I have what is my body weight. I have the weight that I lost difference from the previous day and the total weight. So even if you go to the gym, even if sales, work, if you have day-to-day -day a target and you know what you're supposed to achieve, then it's measurable. Then you would know whether you have to put more effort or less effort or you have to change your goal entirely. So remember, write down your goals and measure the progress. Number 11, make it public uh, for motivating yourself. Uh, that is something I tend to do uh, when I make my videos uh, you know, day one, fast, day two, no food, day three, no food. So because of the feedback I get, it kind of keeps me on track. And also because I've told the world, told my followers, there's that pressure. Sheesh, I've told the world, I need to do it. You know, so that kind of indirectly motivates you. So announce to the world. And when you don't achieve it, people will make fun. That will motivate you. So it's kind of a carrot and stick approach. Number 12 is seek support. Um, if you have friends, uh, you want to give up smoking, you want to give up drinking, you want to give up pornography, you want to give up whatever. If you have friends who can support you, that will really help. Like my wife, I've told her I'm doing this uh, no food fast. So she avoids having my baby come in with the food or making it distracting for me. Uh, sometimes she does forget. Like yesterday she asked me if I want crispy pork. And she showed it to me. And today my daughter showed the chocolate. I was able to control it. But if they are pushing it on your face and not supporting you or making fun of you, then it's detrimental. So 
always make sure that you get the support okay from people and also your environment if i want to lose food uh, weight if i keep chocolates and juices and chips and all that in front of me i don't think i'm going to succeed so make sure your environment supports you well my folk my wife and baby is there food is in the fridge so i'm just avoiding going in that area ah but sometimes i have to <laughs> what to do last if not the least remember this is the most stated advice you have to enjoy the journey okay um not the destination okay yes you want to live a lifestyle where you're not smoking not drinking not being addicted to porn um in your perfect weight uh, you know serious about work you want to be a ceo of a company whatever that is the destination okay that you are living alcohol free smoke free but are you enjoying the day to day yes it's not going to be easy like i'm not eating food day number 3 i'm not enjoying it uh, means it's painful it's uncomfortable but um, the journey of going through that pain i in a very strange way i kind of enjoy it because i know see i have self control yes i have what it takes and then i figure out ways how to make it exciting and interesting like i'll write down okay this delicious ice cream i thought of today i cannot eat today i'll eat after a few days this chips this soup this all you can eat bu- buffet this tea coffee i write it down and i've promised myself i'll reward myself maybe i'll binge eat no problem but this will be after so i'm enjoying the journey and doing whatever it takes to enjoy the journey so sometimes even go for a walk sometimes i'll even go for an outing i'll go for a movie to make it exciting otherwise you know sitting at home doing nothing drives you mad so enjoy the journey and not the destination and then you will be motivated so these are the 13 points to help you get back your motivation i hope this helped you good bad ugly feel free comment down below and if there's any clarification or guidance you need just comment i'll see and i'll answer it you guys take care this is me signing off